Being able to find inspiration is something that can take a little bit of time, but the more that you practice looking for inspiration, the easier it becomes. Hey everyone, my name is Amber Vittoria and I am an illustrator who lives and works in New York City. My work focuses on femininity in the female form. It uses bright colors and fun shapes to tell relatable depictions of people. When I usually look for inspiration, I don't look towards other pieces of visual art. I tend to gravitate towards colors in nature. So a lot of flowers are really beautiful, especially the details within a flower and how the colors change within that. Also how people carry themselves throughout the world. If it's whether it's in New York or in another city, just how people kind of walk and live their day-to-day -day lives are really inspiring to me. And then being able to look towards books or quotes, uh, all those things kind of bring emotion to my work that I then put into my paintings. For students that aren't used to looking for inspiration on a regular basis, I would say a great way is to go for a walk around where you live, bring a camera or your camera phone, and just take pictures of everything that you think to yourself, oh, that's interesting. It doesn't have to overly resonate with you. As long as you find it interesting, take a picture of it, and that might serve as inspiration down the line. It might be a little confusing to understand how my work goes from inspiration to my final painting, so I have a few examples that I'm going to show. So the first example is a photo I took at Big Bend National Park. And A, I love Big Bend National Park. I think it's my favorite of the ones I've seen so far. That tends to change. Um, but the beautiful thing about the park when we visited was that parts of it were covered in snow and then parts of it were like very well into springtime. So when we first drove in, there were these beautiful mountains with a lot of these stripes of snow going down the sides of them. And even though in the photo it's kind of hard to tell, uh, the stripes of the snow itself would change between each of the land. Um, areas that were available. So that really inspired me. And it was just something as simple as doing a rotating color pattern of a bright color and then an off-white and then another bright color and then another off-white. And the way they kind of just naturally swept down the mountain before they melted was really what inspired the forms for this painting. For this set of inspiration to final painting, this is from Saguaro National Park. And the saguaros themselves were super tall. This photo does not do them justice. I have several photos of them and they are like two to three times my height, which is really wild. So that power and um, structure within each of them was something that inspired the painting that I made from them. Beyond that, their beauty really lied within their imperfections. So some parts of the plant were rotting, some parts were growing in. So it had this nice color variation and a lot of like small um, blemishes in it that I wanted to put into the final piece. So when I made this painting, I made sure to load the brush with a lot of water to allow for a lot of the colors to bleed into each other. And I wanted this figure to kind of have that strength and power that the saguaros had. And in this last example from a photo of inspiration to final paintings, these were uh, small shells that I found on the beach and just the small details of stripes and how the colors within each stripe changed was something that really inspired me. I wish I could take the shells with me, but I'm more of a person to take a picture of it and then leave them where they were and then use the picture as reference. And um, so those stripes directly inspired this painting, being able to kind of make the painting bend and flow, just like how the stripes did on each of the shells was something that was important to me and kind of allowing that story of where these shells come from and, you know, how they ended up on the beach in front of me. I wanted that to kind of abstractly inspire the form of the painting itself.